There's a lot of work going on about how to, how to do very, very low power, very long distance sensor communications. And the reason that's interesting, if we say take an oil pipeline, it might run for 300 kilometers, and you want, you've got maintenance data, maintenance sensors dotted along the pipeline, what you'd like to be able to do is to have sensors, but not batteries, which go, run out of power, dotted along with those sensors, and, and have those sensors to be able to communicate more or less whenever they need to, but not frequently, to some sort of managed source and to gather that together. And there's a lot of work going on being able to, to do everything with as low, low amount of power as possible and, and for as long as possible distance. So that's one kind of linear development. Uh, um, um, the development of th items like blockchain um, is kind of connected into this because blockchain is a way of managing data really securely from disparate sources and blockchain and mechanisms like blockchain as a class of distributed ledger technologies could enable us to share this information much more effectively and I should emphasize that security is going to be a real challenge here. So you, for example, if, you, if you're going to uh, drive your production planning based on sensory information about deliveries, inbound deliveries, what you really need to know is can I trust the data that's coming in and is it secure and, and have I got access to the data I want. So there's a lot of work coming, coming along now on, on ways to do that sort of security. I think the other piece is around remote actuation. So I just talked about the sensors on the pipeline. What if I'd like to repair the pipeline? What, what, is there any way I can do that? Or is there at least any way I can provide some advice to people on how to repair that pipeline? So how do you trigger remote actuations? Whether it's little mini microscopic robotic systems, or uh, it could be just a, a little a mini valve that, for example, shuts down one part of a pipeline, not the other. How do, I, how do I link those sort of behaviors into this massive sensory environment that we get, we're starting to gather together? I think that's a real challenge and some new technologies needed in that space.